I'm in the Netherlands for one of the most prestigious fine art and antique fairs, Tifaf Maastricht. There is one in New York, but this is the original flagship Tifaf fair. The show is impressive, museum quality art pieces spanning 7,000 years. Paintings, sculpture, tapestries, antique furniture, clocks, fine jewelry, The fear is known for its rigorous vetting process. Sometimes it results in last minute changes in presentation. And that's exactly what happened to one of the exhibitors. I'm Marius van Dam. I'm the uh, art historian who works for Kolenburg Antiquaires from Oorschot, the Netherlands. It's near Eindhoven, an hour drive from Maastricht. So it feels like home here in Maastricht. And we're happy to be back after two years. While walking around the show, I couldn't help but notice this exquisite cabinet. Here is the story behind it. Well, we bought this cabinet during the pandemic from private collection, and we knew it was something very special, but we didn't know what it was. So we talked to many experts over the world, and they all said something different, and nobody actually knew what it was. So. Well, we tried to make a story about it and we made a report and then, well, we put it here during build-up and then comes the vetting. Okay. And the vetting is very strict and they walk by and they read our cards and they say, well, well, could be, but we think it's something else. And what is it? <laughs> First of and all, what, what did you think it was? We thought it was made in India because of the ivory, the tortoise, the way the flowers are made and the glass inside. And they said, well, that's a good guess and we should have agreed, but someone in our vetting committee knows what it is. And it's not Indian, it's European. It was made in Hamburg. And you couldn't know because the maker is a musical instrument maker, Joachim Tilke from Hamburg. And he is the Stradivarius under the guitar builders of the 18th century, of the early 18th century. So we had to rewrite our report, one and a half year of research. And we had to do that in one night, last Thursday, because the vetting committee comes here on Wednesday they fed on Thursday, and we hear around 4 o'clock what it is. But on 10 o'clock on Friday, we opened. So I had one night to change the story. And in that night, I found out that the cabinet was described in 1711 by a traveler who went to the shop of Tilke to buy a guitar. And he bought that the guitar for 50 guilders. And he said, I thought it was very expensive. The literary term in his book is heavy money. And now you're selling it if it's not a secret? <laughs> well, we keep that uh, for us, but it's okay. much more. He <laughs> bought, he, well, and him was told that there was also a cabinet. Then it was worth 800 thaler, which is approximately 1200 guilders then. And if 50 guilders was heavy money for him, then 1,200 guilders was way beyond. Can you tell me when the gallery was established? And the what's gallery the is established by Michel van Kollenburg. He's the son of a clock dealer in the Netherlands. And he started at a very young age, the age of 14, already in, with dealing in antiques. And he founded, well, van Kollenburg Antiquaires in Oorschot around... 2000, and we're attending TEFAF since 2015. Even though I've been attending art events for a few years now, the names of the exhibitors are mainly new to me. 
it's definitely one of the most beautiful art fairs. It's worth a visit. I highly recommend it. This year marks the 10-year anniversary of the Museum Restoration Fund. Each year, TIFAF provides funding for restoration of significant artworks. This edition's award goes to a Dutch museum in Rotterdam to restore painting Poplars near Nuenen by Van Gogh. The top layers of paint are in need of work, since it was painted over another painting. Not everything is old. This is pop art, an 8-series BMW designed in collaboration with Jeff Koons. And the show was not without a drama. The day after I left on Tuesday, there was a jewelry heist. Here is dramatic video from Twitter. A gang of robbers use sledgehammers to smash open a display case and steal some jewelry. <laughs> Evidently, the loot is a 29 million euro yellow diamond necklace stolen from London Gallery, symbolic and chase. Robbers remain at large. Tsefaf issued a statement calling it an incident. Stay safe, everyone. From Maastricht, I'm Jane Graves.